bad body. Oh, it's a lover one, it's a lover one, yeah, it's a full strong, yeah. Oh, it's a lover one, it's a lover one, yeah. Good evening, welcome to iBoxing Hub. I go by the name of BNG, featuring yours truly, Trey. What's good? All well, good, cuz. Um, how you been? How's your week been? Bro, hey, people. <laughs> Hence why I'm wearing the glasses. <laughs> I'm <Well>. suffering. <laughs> no, it's, you're not the only one, cuz. I got hay fever as well. You know, obviously, we're suffering together, but we just couldn't let the people down and do another show. So, uh, once again, I just wanted to apologize to the community for uh, choose, uh, Wednesday, of course, there was a few issues with YouTube, but we're back and we are here to obviously, you know, do what we do best. Uh, before we obviously start, we've got a big up our sponsors, of course, DRock. So working in association with DRock. So guys, just go on their website, simply just go in the description, have a look at their website. If there's anything that you fancy, like the tracksuit that we're wearing, so I'm obviously wearing the navy blue. You've got Johnny Nelson there, legend, wearing uh, the jacket. And obviously, you've got my cousin, my co-host, Mr. Sports Entertainment. And, oh, look, Joshua Park, uh, Joseph Parker there as well. And you've got my co-host, cousin, Mr. Sports Entertainment, wearing the black. So, um, yeah, just big up to the community as well. And also, big up to Abbas as well. Stay weighed in, slash the crossover. He's done some tremendous work. Uh, you know, during the week as well. So, um, you know, Gil Barrett, look, Sonny Edwards, he's done the exclusive interview with Sonny. Eddie Hearn, absolutely loved that. And uh, he's also been able to catch up with Zelfa, Brown Flash, uh, Barrett, and uh, big up to Pat Barrett as well um, from Black Flash Promotions. That's his uncle. Uh, I've seen the journey. It's been a tremendous journey just to see him, you know, just have that moment you know with his nephew and as you can see black flash promotions they are doing a tremendous job with a lot of the fighters there and look at that moment right at the end you know between um uncle and nephew there it was just a good touching moment because um we've obviously done the shout out last shout out as well we've got uh the green diamond show is back tomorrow so uh aisha does have a guest 8 30 she's obviously gonna be at the presser tomorrow but uh she's obviously going to make it in time so that she can give you guys uh her sit down or her interview with um mr sinclair of course who's working closely with a boxer that uh, everyone knows about so uh cuz we've done the shout outs obviously big up to mr styles 619 big up to you brother um hopefully you do feel better yeah we will hopefully and uh, big up to Palamos Music as well, bro. We've missed you. We've missed the community. And it's just not the same when you're not live on YouTube. I know we was live on X, but it's just not the same. It's a different energy with YouTube. And big up Abbas as well, cuz. Oh, and yes, big up to Neutral as well. How did we not shout out Neutral? You obviously, he's hard talk. Um, Friday night was just a true special. So, uh, guys, if you've not tuned into the hard talk, you had the likes of Rico, No Smoke Boxing slash R and R Hour. We had uh, Remy, uh, and uh, we also had you know a few other guests from America. So, big up brunch boxing as well. Just the the energy is good. Look, the 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 channel. What we're doing is global, and we're just trying to you know reach out to everyone. So, cause. Let's get down to business. Where we come from? Listen, sir, I just want to big up neutral again. You know, I'm a big fan of the hard talks. I'm gonna feature in it one day. I mean, it's, it's usually a late night show, but one day I'm gonna come on. But I'm I'm a big big fan. It's just it's it's wild. But yeah, um, yes. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big up. Yeah. yeah. Um, where should we start? So yesterday's event was was successful. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I fell asleep. Um, you know, hey, people got me bugging, but um, you know, he got the win. What's next? Who's next? Yeah. You got you got to put him in uh for world title shot now, man. He's he's done the homecoming. Uh, I think the, the performance was tremendous as well. It was a hard, gritty fight as well between two warriors. We've got to big up Jordan Gill, big up Baza, 
we've obviously had Baz on the show a few times, so he was obviously a part of the team that, you know, did the crazy madness in, in Ireland. And they obviously came to Manchester to, you know, do the same thing. But, you know, Zelfa was just determined. And he said it when he was talking to Abbas, the exclusive. He obviously mentioned that, you know, it's a dream come true for him to headline Manchester. And I'm just happy that he's done the job, manifested a uh, fairy tale ending, and uh, he deserves a title shot next. Mm. Interesting. Oh, that's good. It's good. Um, also, I, I didn't watch um, Gerard Anderson's fight, uh, but what I've heard is that he's been calling out um, Wilder. Mm, yes, yes. Now, big up, big up to you, big up to you, Jams. So obviously, Jams uh, also has purchased uh, his tracksuit as well. So, guys, just join on board, man, and just also do the same as well supporting d rock is also supporting uh what we're doing so big up to jams and big up to the community as well um yeah so anderson it wasn't the performance that everyone expected of course uh myself and a lot of people we thought you know he would win inside you know six and a half rounds even even inside three rounds but um it was obviously a, a more controlled win it was good to see his hours uh can't wait for your interview tomorrow, Aisha, what Mr. Styles 619 saying, we can't wait as well. Obviously, Aisha uh, has been doing a lot of work on the, the back end. And also, big up to Al Heyman uh, behind the cameras as well. Ramadan, um, also, obviously, Aisha, Abbas, and uh, himself, they've obviously been away, and it's just obviously good to have them back. Hakan, big up to you. Hakan was actually on the hard talk as well. Uh, Sonia Edwards has signed a new multi-fight extension deal with Matchroom Boxing. Big up to Hakan bringing us th that information. Sonny Edwards, uh, we love his energy. We have to call him Spider-Man. We actually have to call him Spider-Man just for uh, <laughs> how he, he just showed up to the presser. So, um, Anderson, you know what, what I, 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 I just, the, the fight I want to see Sonny Edwards in is, is him vs Prince Patel. That, that's a fight I want to see. Oh, anything that, that should be the next fight. Yes, have it. Where would yes, you do it? Why? Um, Wembley. Ooh, Wembley. Well, yeah. arena or the stadium? Come on, bro. Arena, man. Okay, okay. No, no. I just, just wanted to confirm because obviously, big up or, to or, or, or couple box, you know. No, but that, I think them two. You know they've they've been going back and forth for a while, now, and I think um it's it this is time it's time that they should you know settle it in the ring and uh, may the best man win because yeah, when you think about it, they both were world champions. Like um, Sonny was was it was it WBO world champion, yeah. and um, Prince Patel he was the IBO uh, world champion. So I think uh, them two they should get on. Yeah, I think in terms of uh, press conference. We just know that they're going to bring WWE energy you know, into you the conference, man. So, uh, Eddie, if you're watching, that would be a, a show stealer if you're going to get them to. Because you've got one guy that's going to, you know, be the Spider-Man. What's Prince Patel going to do? He might just come in and be Batman. You might just be... You just never know. You never know. <laughs> big, up, big up to Prince, man. I always uh, love uh, his energy. Okay. All right. Sorry. I just want to go change the subject. I want to go back onto Gerard Anderson, right? Yeah, now, yeah. I understand when people fight, they get all hyped to one red tether, but is he actually being serious that he's actually calling out Wilder? Yeah, I think I think that's a safe call. Obviously, uh, big up to Ra as well. Uh, he's obviously saying, did you see, oh, Hatman's video where top coach, oh, McKinney says Anderson will quit in the ring. Oh, it's a good point. It is a good point, and uh, it was a good interview as well. Um, yeah, Anderson, I think yesterday wasn't the performance that everyone uh, expected of him, but I think we've got to put him in with a um, higher level of competition now. I think he's done the rounds now. Uh, he's fought people that, you know, could test his abilities, but not really. We've not seen the best out of him, and um, uh, Anderson's a joke. Can't take this man's uh, can't take this serious as a fire if he goes on camera crying about the pressure. Um, it's you know what, 
I think there's a lot of potential for him. I think there is there is a talent. He is a big prospect. Uh, I think uh, Al Heyman behind the cameras was saying off air that uh, he would love to see him against uh, Britain's uh, Moses Satuma. So you've got UK's prospect versus uh, USA's prospect there. Uh, big up to Lucy all the way from the States as well. If you've ever seen uh, paint dry or grass grow, you saw Anderson's fight last night. You're getting a live uh, reaction from Lucy from the States. I know the, the fight was not the best. Uh, do you guys... Think, do you think he likes boxes? Good question, cuz I'm gonna throw that over um, to you. I, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm assuming he does. I I, I don't know. So last time I remember when um uh uh what's his name interviewed him. Um got his name when he said that the press it was too much pressure. Um yeah. who interviewed him again? I can't remember the the, the guys getting the boxer. Getting uh, guys, if you remember uh, Ben White of boxing. Ooh, Ben White of boxing, good at it, but ooh, doesn't like it. Ooh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Our aim is a bit angry right now because of obviously what's happened with Arsenal. But um, I definitely think, look, I definitely think that he needs to step up in terms of the competition. Um, there was obviously interviews of him saying that uh, money, he's fighting for the money, etc. But um, I think he's motivated. I think he wants to get in there with better competition. That's why he's obviously calling out those names. Obviously, Jams is saying, Big Baby put on a boxing clinic. Uh, though he's kept uh, his opposition on the jab all night, um, it's the sweet science. Hit and don't get hit. And that's what he did. Was boring as, you know, but, <laughs> yeah, he offered nothing really. Like, it's true. Um, his level of competition on the night, uh, Mary didn't really uh, pose him a threat, so you know he just did what he did best. Uh, big up to Abbas as well. Abbas, deserve your flowers. You know after everything that you've done in terms of Eddie Hearn and everything that you've done uh, this week. Up <laughs> to. I don't really care about American heavyweights. It's fair. Look, it's fair because we're building something here in the UK. We're building something here in the UK, and uh, when you've got Promoters like Eddie Hearn that's doing a tremendous job with their fighters. I'm that's sure it. He's getting guests. It was Roy Jones. So he was saying that, you know, the pressure's on. Yes. So I always say this. Uh, I think Wilder, maybe down the line, not next, but I, I, I would like for him to fight the likes of Triple D, Joe Joyce, or even uh, Martin Bocoli. Those are the three opponents I think uh, Anderson should fight. If anything, he should come here in the UK and, and, and fight one of those top dogs. Oh, yeah. Lucy's making a good point. So he's fought like this in the past. So, um, yeah, it's true. Um, so it wasn't much of a surprise anyway. So um, you're only as good as the opponent that you're fighting, cuz, man. Just in yeah. my general opinion, if you put him in there with difficult uh, opposition, then I think you, we're, we're going to see the best out of him. Uh, I kind of think. Um, you know, when Mayweather was kind of just first uh, bringing that money uh, persona, he fought Ricky yeah. Hatton. That fight got the best out of Mayweather in terms of because of the style and because of what was happening. We saw best uh, the best Mayweather produce uh, one of his best uh, wins, so I would say, in his, his career in terms of entertainment, uh, the, the action. So um, Mr. Styles 619 wouldn't mind seeing him compete at light flyweight oh it's not as good it's a, it's a fair point it's a fair point it's a fair point but cuz oh wait neutral uh big up to the one of the nicest guys uh abbas no big up to abbas abbas has done a tremendous job and it's just really exciting to, to see the growth of uh abbas and and the, the channel of course uh there's literally uh three to four notable semi-notable american heavyweights and uh one of them is wilder and it's getting there but it's true it's true and this is coming from lucy who's in the states who's a you know big fan uh raz obviously saying uh don't <laughs> not ever compare anderson to me no 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 one no 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 Ra, no one's comparing anderson to me i'm just saying in terms of uh, fighters in general, 
it was always dependent on who they're fighting against as well. So if they got someone that wants to sit back and and and, and, and fight for points, then it's just one of those situations. So um, Abbas is obviously saying Wilder will most likely be on the five v five card. Uh, so it depends on what happens. Uh, it could be a potential fight, but if Wilder wins, I don't think we will see it. Oh, it's true. Listen, I want to discuss about the Fire Beast fight. Now, we've got a big press conference, I believe, tomorrow here in the UK. Yeah. Dude, I'm hearing so many names. So far, uh, I've been told that potentially we may have Wilder Beast Zang. Mm. It will be on the card of um, Bib Warm Bertabib. Ooh. That is that is that is juicy. Look, people, community, what's your what's your thoughts about Wilder versus Zhang? And look, Wilder has arrived in London ahead of tomorrow's five v five press conference. Big up to you, Hakan. Obviously, uh, Aisha is going to be there representing us as well. So um, yeah, it should be exciting. Mayova never cried about pressures of the game. Yes, it's true. That's why he's uh, one of my favorites of the game. Um, Lucy is obviously saying Zhang is going to beat Wild Arts. A very, very good statement there. Uh, Zhang, you can kind of just go off uh, his last fight, you know, against Joseph Parker. Yes, you know, Parker won that fight, but there are, you know, a lot of purists that also would have said that the knockdowns was enough for, you know, Zhang to also get the decision. So, um, neutral is also confirming Wild versus Zhang confirmed today. So, that this is looking like a big one, cuz. So you've got the Big Bang versus the Bronze Bomber. So if we've got Wilder listening, mm. please remove Dr. Sleep. Get back to Bronze Bomber. I want the Bronze Bomber. That's who I want. I don't want Dr. Sleep. I want the Bronze Bomber. And so we want not, two this, big explosions in a ring in boxing sense. This will be interesting because AJ, um, his next fight, I believe, is in September. Mm -hmm. How I see it, because Fury's tied in with Usyk, right? And obviously, after there's a rematch, AJ could potentially fight the winner of Wilder and Zhang mm. at Wembley Arena. Ooh, just look, like Abbas is giving us a little uh, gem here. So, just for reference, Eddie was very quiet about it, but would make a little smirk when I mentioned about it. So, look, Abbas was there you know for uh the gill and uh barrett cards so he was there for the uh, for the festivities as well so um anyone seen zhang over here um guys have there has there been any tweets um we could also speak to terry i believe who you know deals with zhang so we'll give him a marks you know uh, straight after this if anything uh i predict a wilder stoppage Ooh, what are you saying cuz wilder stoppage yeah, I, I I just think you know I I think a lot of people are underestimating Wilder. I think because of his last performance, um, just bear in mind he was inactivity, he was inactive for like two years, and mm. Parker didn't really. I don't know. Parker's just a nice dude. You know what I'm saying? He's a cool dude. You know. So I just think if it is Wilder and Zhang, I think Zhang will bring the the bronze bomb back. Do you know what I mean? So um, mm. it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be because the way I see it, Zhang will start off good. But mid round, I think Wilder. Remember, he just needs a second, you know. So um, it'll be interesting, but it'll be interesting just to see who wins because I I believe that the winner should fight AJ. Because put it this way, the pressure is on both of them. Really, they could, mm. no one could obviously there's going to be a loser. But Wilder was supposed to fight AJ, but he lost to to to, to Parker. Then Angano mm. took that slot. So now it's just like okay, if you win this fight, you can potentially be back in the mix to fight AJ to make big money. So Zhang wants AJ, Wilder wants AJ. So the winner takes AJ. Mm. And I suppose the loser, I don't know, maybe didn't work and fight the loser. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's just it's just interesting for, for you know the, the heavyweight division at the moment. Because again, like look, we're hearing in this five piece five. Um I could be wrong, but is Triple D and Herkovich fighting on this card? No, they can't be, because obviously they, they it, it, Yes, 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 there will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got yeah. he and 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 uh, Daniel Dubois for the IBF. So that that that's interesting. That that there is actually interesting just to think like who would win. Oh, so 
big up uh triple d we've got a few points here so mr pads thank you so much for joining us today so raw triple d got a serious chance in that it's a decent fight now we agree with you it is definitely uh, a decent fight there's a lot happening uh in that as well like what my cousin was saying i hope we get to see the bronze bomber and like what i was saying it just takes the right fighter to bring certain fighters out so i'm hoping that big bang can bring some heat so that we can see the bronze bomber because they're both olympians let's put some respect they're both olympians and uh it will, it will be a good test man for for both of them because they're both coming off losses of course uh ford versus bull is a great fight on the card as well hackans has given us the bull ah uh, he's giving us jemmy and uh, lucy's absolutely loving that big up to lucy big up to hackan uh, it's good energy and Ra. Uh, Triple D just needs his dad in the corner to tell him off and his new girlfriend to motivate him. <laughs> Ra, where's his new girlfriend from? I think you said Brazil, I believe, isn't it? So if that works, man, you, you got to keep it going. And uh, Abbas is saying uh, Zhang isn't, isn't a moving target as this fight kind of fits into Wilder's hands where he doesn't have to overthink and he could land that big right hand, the equalizer, the anointed uh punch that will uh you know potentially create an explosion in the ring in a boxing sense so uh jams is obviously saying loving ford um versus ball that will be a mini classic but ford wins for me oh cuz we're getting we're getting good energy here can't wait for ford versus ball uh this is obviously usa versus uk uh, uk so uh neutral obviously knows better you know uh, talking to the American uh, audience, of course. So it is a fight that we want to see. And uh, Lucy's confirming that Ford uh, beats him. Because it's a lot of excitement. It's a lot of excitement. White needs to get into that mm. sound. Yes, he does. Yeah, no. White, white, I believe White will be back in the mix. I think after two, one or two more fights, I think he's back in the mix. We, need, like him, said, we need him. A A A A AJ has got options. If he's talking about fighting in September, he can either fight the winner of Zhang, uh, Zhang Wilder, or fight the winner of Herkovic and, and Triple D. Because, you know, obviously somebody will have the title because AJ did say he wants to become three times world champion. So there's a possibility that he could be, fight, he could be fighting Triple D or, or, or Herkovic, you know. And then, and then hopefully after that, then he might try and unify again, you know. So um, let's just see. But it, it's interesting. But I would, like I said, I would like to see Dylan White back in the mix. I would like to see Dylan White and Wilder. That's a fight I would like to see. It would be a good fight. I would love to see that fight, uh, if I'm honest with you. Because it was the fight that was meant to happen before, when, when Wilder was WBC champion. Uh, White was obviously the silver champion. That fight needed to happen time ago. But we heard the quotes from Wilder saying, I don't fight, uh, um, only fight kings or whatever. So, look... They're in a situation now where they can both lock on. Uh, Mr. Bronco oh. needs to return to his old ways. Yes, it's, this is what I'm saying, man, because he needs to return to his old ways, man. Just a quick one. Just a quick one, guys. So, um, it's, it's, it's five these five, right? Match room v. v Queensbury. Yeah. Now, am I right in saying Eddie Hearn has signed Wilder for a one fight deal? Because Wilder is not Queensbury and he's not match room, so... I don't know what's going on. Has he been signed? Has he, you know, make it make sense? Because my yeah. understanding was Matchroom v Queensbury. I understand that um, Zhang, he's signed to Queensbury, right? After yeah. he beat uh, Joe Joyce. Yeah. But yeah. Hold up. what's going on there? Is he being signed? Yeah, so there's, there's obviously been some sort of an agreement where he's going to represent, you know, Eddie Matchroom for right. this this event. Um, he's doing similar works to what Haney's doing, I believe. So Haney isn't a matchroom fighter, but because of what he's doing, he's working in collaboration with them. So um, uh, Shuran versus, uh, yeah, that fight would be absolutely tremendous. That would be a good fight. Um, ooh, so you've got Richards versus Hutchison as well. Is the surprise one. It's a good one, Richards. It'd be good to see him back in the ring as well. It'd be a very good one. Uh, Hutchison will KO Richards. Ooh, and no, it's because he's a Scot. Yeah, of course. Of course, neutral. 
of course, has to back the Scott, of course. Uh, Adam, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, he's obviously saying Anderson needs to fight someone that will engage like Fabio Wardley. Thank you. It, this all, it all goes down to your dance partner that you're in the ring with, of course. Um, Jams is saying death for BNG. Wilder versus uh, Dylan would be a good uh, fight, of course. Uh, yeah, we've got to see what uh, Wilder's got left as well. Uh, mm -hmm. White doesn't get done by mugs for sure, which is true. White doesn't get done. And uh, Jams, that's a very good point. Uh, big up to you, brother. Because um, obviously we're, we're coming up to the, to the end of the show, of course. Uh, there is a topic that uh, I'm sure everyone wants to uh, discuss and talk about. Uh, Al Heyman definitely wants to um, discuss this topic, of course. So uh, Ryan Garcia obviously come out and uh, he's obviously said a few things about my boy Spence. Um, so uh, guys, what's your uh, thoughts about uh, the situation? Is this a publicity stunt to possibly want to fight Spence in the future? Or is it, you know, part of building his fight? Or is he being serious? Is it is, is there general beef? Like, guys, talk to me. What's going on? Uh, uh, do you know what? I don't know. I think it's just a publicity stunt because as far as I'm concerned, somebody broke it down and said, Ryan is the one who's been pushing out this fight because I ain't really heard much from Haney. Don't get me wrong, I know Haney's in Canby's focus, whatnot, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, like, both men needs to play part in this. So, um, But you know what? Can Garcia beat Haney? That's the question. Can he actually do the job? Yeah, he might shut the world. Yeah, he might shut the Because, like, yeah. I, we can all just kind of say a lot. Like, I've kind of been, we've been here before in terms of, yeah. I thought, you know, with the whole Wardley Clark fight, I thought it was going to be a whole different kind of showing. But, you know, Clark showed that he's on that level. So, Garcia now has got an opportunity to, you know, show the world that he's not just all talk. This is a fight that I genuinely think that he believes he can win because he's been in the ring uh, with him six times already in the amateurs. This is like the seventh. This is like the the the, the game breaker or the, the one that wins it all. And it's for a world title in the biggest stage. Uh, I think this is a, uh, this is going to be a tremendous fight. Uh, Mr. Styles is obviously saying uh, Garcia needs to chill. It's becoming cringy. Um, like what my cousin's saying, I, I think it's just a publicity stunt. Um, he doesn't want to get in the ring with Errol, man. Let's, let's, let's just keep it real. I, l I love what Garcia is doing. I like, I like um, you know, how focused he is for this fight and the way he's pushing it. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a madness. All Ryan versus Spence would be an interesting fight. Uh, I mentioned it before Ryan did. Um, I don't think Spence would want to fight a one for seven, man. He's trying to move up, and if that, they're that, gonna that catch that it, it would be that work, man. It would be, it would be. Let's just be fair, man. Spence, I think a lot of people. Let's let's keep it real. A lot of people are disrespecting Spence from one loss, man. One loss doesn't define him. It doesn't define his legacy. He lost to a fighter who is exceptional, who is a two-time undisputed. Only a few people could say that. So uh, I think Spence, you know, can come back stronger. And I'm hoping to see him back at 154. Do you know what, yeah? At this point, yeah, I, I think I want to see the rematch, you know. Spence yeah. and Cole for that 154. I, I just want to see now. Now, because I know a lot of people have been disrespecting Spence, yeah. It's like, okay, let's run it back at 154 now. Run it back. No belts on the top. Let's, let's run it back. But then who, who who's going to be coaching um, Spence? That's the magic question. Lucy, anyone that's involved from the States, is there any hinders, Hakan, is there any hinders of, um, you know, who Spence's coach is going to be? Or is there any recommendations? What Guys, who do you think should coach uh, Spence Jr.? Like, let's, let's get some thoughts on that. It'd be interesting. Because if you was to pick someone, I think we did have a brief conversation, uh, but... I'm happy for you to just say to the community, who do you think would be a good coach for him? Uh, at this point, I actually don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> at this point, honestly, I actually don't know. Um, maybe um, Roy Jones. Ooh, okay. Roy Jones, yeah. Okay. You got a legend. Yeah, all right. 
No, it's a fair point. Obviously, Lucy's saying uh, Garcia's had diarrhea of the mouth for weeks. He just can't show. All, all I'm saying is, yeah, I, I, I'm edging for Haney to win, but just don't be surprised if Garcia shocks the world. Mm. No, it's a fair... It is obviously a fair point, and uh, Ra's obviously saying Ryan gets <laughs> soundly beaten, but gives gives him credit. Uh, I bet he fights Tio Ushakur sooner than others fight each other, which is a fair point from Ra. Uh, big up to Ra. And Neutral's obviously saying Ryan, um, a marquee boxer, who's booking his next fight win, lose, or draw versus Haney, which is a fair point as well. Mr. Styles is obviously saying, uh, I think if Garcia wins against uh, Haney, then Spence will KO him in their fight. Um, I don't think Spence will uh, entertain that fight, if I'm honest with you. I don't think he'll entertain it. Uh, unless, you know, he wants the big payday, of course, then yeah. But I think he, he wants to come back at 154, you know, potentially fight, you know, for the title and then, you know, call it quits, man. So he can at least end his career being a two-weight, you know, champion as well. So I think that would be big. Do you know what? And this boots, he really wants to fight Crawford. He really yeah. wants Crawford. Oh, Calvin Ford. Calvin Ford, that's a good shout. It's a good shout. There is a good shout. And uh, Spence and Tank, they got a really good relationship, them two. So I think that would be uh, interesting. Or oh, Spence should try out. Garcia. Yeah, yeah, that is a very good choice as well. Very good choice. If he's going to stay local... Or if you wanted to do the international route, pick uh, Ben Davison. Why not Ben Davison? I am obviously saying AJ. So, look, there's a lot of options uh, for, for Spence anyway. But uh, let's see what happens, Cuz, man. Let's see uh, what happens. But Cuz, before we obviously round up the show, of course, um, is there any sort of last few little topics that you wanted us to quickly run through before we obviously uh, wrap up? No, I'm just looking forward to the Fire Beast Five. I want to know who's on the card, the undercard. So um, I'm just excited about that, really. Um, nothing else, really, apart from, you know, the big fight next Saturday, Haney and Garcia. And Haney. then next up, you've got the big, big fight, you know, the undisputed. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, no, it's going to be a massive few weeks uh, for boxing. I'm just excited. So, um, yeah, just wanted to just take this opportunity to big up the boxing community that's following us, of course. Uh, the journey is just for you guys. Uh, what we do is we want to just provide you guys, you know, with access into the boxing world, but also give you a voice in this space as well. So we've got people like Neutral. Neutral's got his show in the next few weeks, of course. Um, and here is our weekly schedule, of course. So, um, Al Heyman, could you remove that comment a bit from the bottom? Yes, perfect. So, as you can see, Monday's Green Diamond Boxing. Tuesday, we've got Stay Weighed In. Wednesday, back to the Roundup. Uh, obviously, on Thursday, we've got the R&R &R Hour. Fridays, we've got the Crossover slash Neutral's Hard Talk. And on uh, Saturdays, we've got the Watch Alongs. If it does happen, it depends on the event. And then Sundays is back to the roundup where you've got myself and my um, co-host and my cousin, Mr. Sports Entertainment, with the shades on, you know, the next WWE Universal Champion. <laughs> nah, big up to you, my cousin. Oh, sorry, somebody just put a comment there. I completely forgot uh, uh, regarding Yard, Anthony Yard. Also, I'm not too sure what's going on there. So my understanding, he's a free agent, so he's no longer with um, Queensbury. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. From my understanding, yeah, yeah. So my, my understanding, if he if he doesn't sign with Queensbury, then he's got options. Yep, options. You got to think, but he's got PBC. You never know. Got America, yep. PBC. Yep. He's got um, Matt True. He's ben got uh, yeah, Ben Shalom boxer. He's yep. got uh, Wasserman. So yep. in a way, it really depends on what what deal gets presented. But um, yeah. Oh, so I think uh, Yard ooh, responding to what C uh, was a tactical one. 
to call Frank up for his money, but I don't think Yard should go to boxer. Now, it's a fair point, FK Breeze. It's a fair point. Regardless, we just want to see the fight. I don't care who he signs for. Uh, uh, I don't. I, w I wouldn't care, you know, in terms of what he does. But I kind of feel for Frank because Frank has done a tremendous job. But business is business, of course. Uh, Yard, uh, sorry, can you bring that last point up just very quickly? Um, what was the last point, uh, Al Heyman, from Mr. Style 619? Oh, don't worry about it, man. Uh, so I seriously love the boxing community. Much love and respect to everyone. God bless. God bless you on Sunday as well, AJ. And uh, yeah, love the energy. Because obviously before we wrap up, another big up to D-Rock. Make sure, guys, you go on their website and you look at what they've got on their website. Just take advantage of 40% off, guys. Can get 40 percent off anything just use the code iboxing hub 24 and uh it should be plain sailing uh for you from there and uh, also in the description is the link to abbas's recent uh interview he done the post uh interview with zelfa and eddie Hearn. so guys just go in the description and it will be there and it's this so big up big up oh sorry or oh, even golden boy they they Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, you do, you do you do numbers with him, I think, in the States. Yeah. Ooh, whatever you do, don't sign with PBC. End up fighting once every 18 months. Oof. That's, that's that is that is the jab. <laughs> that's the jab we needed to know. <laughs> no, but big up to the community. Uh thank you all for tuning in and for showing some love as well as we grow. Uh, this platform is just for you guys so just keep supporting us and we'll keep uh, delivering some tremendous content but cuz i'm gonna hand it over to yourself yeah so mr pads just asked a question the presser is tomorrow in london uh, i'm not too sure where what location but it's on tomorrow i believe is it what 1 p.m uk time or 2 p.m so yeah. it should be interesting yes yeah, so oh, 5, 5 p.m uk <laughs> Big up to Ra. Ra's obviously going to be there uh, as well. And uh, Ash is also going to be there as well on behalf of our Boxing Hub, of course. And Andrew will also be there representing Stay Weighed In. So we're, we're having the, the family there, of course. And uh, yeah, big up to uh, Andrew as well. He's obviously saying love. Love to you too, bro. And uh, big up to the whole of the family, of course. Yeah, man. Yeah. But listen, guys, you know, thank you for supporting. Keep supporting. Love always. Rem remember to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on our social media channel. Have a lovely, productive week. Peace and love. Hey, oh, oh. It's